say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. That's what I dreamed into reality. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. God bless. If you truly excel at what you do, very few people will congratulate you on it. It will be taken for granted. Perfection often is. No one can make the claim that a man like Conor McGregor goes unnoticed. Everything he does is a brash explosion of overconfidence and self-belief. The trash talk and fancy cars are just smoke and mirrors. A distraction for the real magic, his sublime striking. The Irish King's arsenal is as diverse as it is clean, a master of the art of striking. However, today we will only be looking at his signature weapon, the left hand. We selected the 8 best performances that many have fallen victim to, from journeymen to world champions. As always, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss an upload. With that being said, let's get started. The year is 2012 and Conor McGregor is about to make a ripple in the ocean of mixed martial arts that will soon turn into a tsunami. At this time, McGregor was fighting in smaller promotions. He had already won the Cage Warriors featherweight belt and was soon to snatch the lightweight belt in a fight with Ivan Butchinger. The fight opened as all McGregor fights do, quickly. Connor came running into the center and immediately began to pressure Butchinger into making a mistake. McGregor makes his opponents tired by making them think. A very different form of exhaustion compared to fighters like Max Holloway or Nate Diaz. Connor throws fancy kicks and feints constantly to keep his opponents guessing what is coming next, always keeping them panicked, which over time dulls the reactions. This deception allows him to land a simple left straight with near impunity. Butchinger was forced to prepare for every shot in the book and so was not expecting the left straight to be fired with no setup. After thoroughly confusing Ivan for most of the first round, Butchinger got desperate and sloppy and threw a weak right hand that Connor slipped violently. After entering the UFC and producing some stellar wins over Marcus Brimage and Max Holloway, a knee injury took him out of the game for almost a full year. The McGregor that came back to face Brandau was a different one. McGregor is in the black wrestling trunks, Diego Brandau in the red wrestling trunks, and these guys are getting straight into it like a middleweight. He does have a height and reach advantage as well, which is really working out for him right now. Nice head kick, stalking his opponent. Looked like a slip from Brandau. Kind of just in range, but far enough away from danger as he starts teeing off. Brandau looks Brandau. hurt. Brandau looks hurt. This could be the end. Big left. This could be an early stoppage. Big left. Big left. Big left. Big left. This could be it. That is it. It is all wow. over. And Conor McGregor is victorious. 90 seconds was all that Connor needed for this one. Too strong when I battle with the beast, bring a few one. The commander and the chief for my crew. He was inside Poirier's head long before the opening bell rang, and little was needed in the way of traps or setups. The first few exchanges were similar to the Brandau fight. McGregor opens with a crazy kick and attempts to overwhelm Poirier with all the possibilities. Poirier, to his credit, stood his ground and used low kicks to disrupt the bouncy rhythm of the Irishman, and did a good job blocking the left hand. But sooner or later, the left always lands. And his kicks for this fight. Oh, he tagged him on yeah. the left, Mike. He heard him. Hands in his hips. Having oh, a conversation. Looking to finish the fight. That's it. It it's is over. all over. Just like that. Wow. I 
This fight was more of the same brilliance from featherweight McGregor, quick adaptations and even quicker left hands. This was a needless showing for McGregor, who outmatched Seaver in every area of the fight. That was beautiful. Walking him down. Oh, he is as special as he says he is. Oh, took his time, dug one into the ribcage. The left hand that put Seaver down was thrown like a slingshot, swinging forwards with insane momentum. Adjustment John Cavanaugh talked about, Joe, was don't really throw the spinning back there because Seaver is ducking under. He's so short. Looks the wheel. Beautiful wow. clean straight left hand. And Seaver has eaten a bunch of those. And there's another beautiful straight left. And another. So casual with the way he moves sometimes. Often ask fighters, what's your favorite striking technique? And they say the, the punch that lands. Tag that's it. what McGregor Hard just did. Hand. This could be it. This may be it. Elbows. Wow. This fight is seconds away from being stopped. That's it. Hit That's it is all over. Conor McGregor. This is the way I look at Conor. Conor. Conor, when I look at Conor, Conor's a big talker. I match up horrible for this guy. Conor, Conor, do you know what wrestling is? I can, I can rest my balls on your forehead. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, I'm gonna kill this man across from me. He's a little five foot two twerp. He should have kept his mouth shut. And I'm gonna slap the face off him and that's it. historic moment in UFC history, McGregor claiming his first UFC title. In his fight with Chad Mendez, Connor proved he could overcome adversity and still hunt for a finish. McGregor chose to kick the body to slow his target down. An exhausted Mendez was backed up against the fence and barraged with uppercuts and lead hooks. Stumbling away, he was rocked with a left hand thrown like a baseball pitch. And the rest was mixed martial arts history. 20 seconds to go. Mendez. Listen to this place. Oh, big shot by McGregor. Look at the clock closely. 10 seconds. Oh, he's hurt. Could he finish him here? Hit That's it. It's all over. Connor McGregor wow. is a UFC wow. interim featherweight champion! Wow. This one won't take long. The Aldo fight is the finest example of McGregor's pull counter, requiring both incredible speed and a high fight IQ to make it work. Connor bounced forwards and backwards taunting Aldo, knowing he would commit to a hard right hand. But Aldo didn't. The Brazilian legend used the right hand as a feint for a left hook, but as soon as McGregor detected the right hand, he parried it and returned with a beautiful left of his own to close the show. After receiving a beatdown from the Stockton slapper Nate Diaz, changes had to be made to McGregor's game. Against the bigger guys at lightweight and welterweight, leaping bicycle kicks and intimidating pressure wasn't going to work. Instead, he adapted his game to use educated footwork and patient single shot counters. Gone was the cage warriors McGregor who would capoeira kick his way into range. In his place was a true marksman. Ability to be hit there before. Over and over. Oh, he left the gun to be tagged him. Straight left connects. Oh, that's funny. Connor with a combination of rounds, and that's where he feels he'll have a big advantage. And another one, another leg kick. Timing beats speed. Clip him again. The leg kicks. Oh, he hurt it again. Connor feels it. Beautiful. 
beautiful counter. Slip and rip. He's happy to wait. Standing right in front of Nate and outboxing him. Back to the wall, who you gonna call? If you try to pay defense, you gonna fall. And I realize my circle been getting small. And the new friends, who is y'all? When I run out of him, he act appalled, but he still got his life. Inside the octagon tonight. A hard one. And a good counter left. Oh, beautiful counter by Connor. The slip and rip. On the judges' scorecards. Wow, they left it all inside the octagon. What a fight. I'm bending her over, she's grabbing my pocket, she must have heard I'm getting fast money. I a little and cut with a beam. Flawless victory. Going into their fight at UFC 205, many fans thought that Eddie Alvarez would have Conor McGregor's number. How wrong could they be? Back while she looking back and not saying comfortable. I know she think I'm a money tree, but honestly, she can't get none from me. First time at 155 since so 2000. Can he finish it right here, right now? Game changer. It is. And again. Him again. Yeah. Connor did it back at home in Ireland. And he delivers another big rep. It just. Connor looking for a four. McGregor controlled every second of the fight, slipping in and out of range like a ghost, popping left hands from the waist with zero respect for Alvarez. And Eddie Alvarez has been there before. Oh, tag him again. Oh, wow. Look at this. Really? In the end of that right hand. But not enough to hurt him. Now they're Alvarez saying officially. He got tagged. He's just getting loose, getting better here in this round, though. Oh, man. Until then. Oh, he's done. He's done. It is over! The finishing sequence rivals the Aldo fight. Fading back out of the way of a right hand, Connor throws one of the cleanest combinations in UFC history. Four punches in less than three seconds. Remarkable. If you haven't got your McGregor fix, we have a highlight and full breakdown of his comprehensive and diverse striking arsenal. Check out our Art of Striking series to catch it. The link will be in the description below.